Greetings everyone, welcome back uh, to this episode with the XFizz guy. And today I'm going to cover the ACSM metabolic equation for running. In a previous video, I covered the equation for walking, and that was hopefully a pretty good step-by-step -step process of how to calculate the VO2 or the functional capacity of an individual at a given speed and a given incline. Um, so the equation for running is slightly different. The, the constant numbers are slightly different, but all the steps are exactly the same. So let me take you through it step by step here. Our running equation is VO2 equals 0.2 times the speed. Remember, the speed must be in meters per minute, not in miles per hour. And in order to get the speed into meters per minute, you're going to take whatever speed in miles per hour you have, and you're going to multiply that by 26.8. So students who are looking to take either exams in school or a certification exam, this equation will be given to you, but these, con these conversion factors will not. So all your professors and the test takers are going to assume that number one, you remember to convert miles per hour into meters per minute. And number two, they're going to assume that you know this conversion factor. They, I, I'll be very surprised if they give it to you. And as a matter of fact, I know they will not give it to you on certification exams. So 0.2 times the speed is the first part of the equation. That's, no, that's your horizontal, if you want to think of it, um, component. And then your vertical component, plus 0.9 times the speed times the grade. And then, of course, your constant of plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. Remember, this is your resting VO2, your resting oxygen consumption. That's the same for every single human individual, 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. If you recall... The walking equation had the same exact setup. The only thing that was different, the only thing was that this was a 0.1 and this was a 1.8. That's the only thing that has changed in the running equation. So let's take this example. An individual is running at 5.2 miles per hour on a 7% grade. Now you might hear incline and that's okay. Grade and incline are the same exact thing. This question is asking, what is their VO2? So right away you know, okay, I have to solve for VO2. That's what I'm solving for. All these other components are given to me. I just have to plug them in in the correct manner, and I should get the answer no problem. Again, as I did with the walking equation, the very first thing I want to do is I want to write down my known values. So I know that the person is on a 5.2 mile per hour speed, and I know that they're on a 7% grade. So right away, the first thing I'm gonna do is convert my miles per hour into meters per minute. So I take 5.2, multiply that by 26.8, and that gives me 139.36 meters per minute. I'm going to do the same thing with the grade. The grade must be put into the equation in a decimal format. So a 7% grade, again, what you're doing is you're dividing it by 100. So if you think of this as a 7.0 grade, you just would move your decimal place, your decimal point two places to the left. So you would actually have a 0.07, and that's what gets plugged into the equation. After you've done that, <coughs> excuse me, the first thing you're going to want to do is just take this equation and rewrite it with your known values. So in other words, VO2, which is the value I'm solving for, equals 0.2 times 139.36, that's my first part, notice the parentheses, plus 0.9 times 139.6 times 0 0.07, and then of course the plus 3.5 at the end. So all I've done in step number one is, is I've just rewritten the equation so I can get reorganized and get my thoughts together. So what I like to do now is I like to just do the very first part of the equation. So all I'm going to do is multiply 139.36 times 0.2. And, that's, and then after I've done that, don't do anything else. Just rewrite the equation again. Now, 0.2 times 139.6 equals 27.82. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation, VO2, 
equals 27.82, and then plus the second part of my equation, which just comes from up here. 0 0.9 times 139.6 times 0 0.07. And of course, the 3.5 resting VO2. The next part I'm going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is simply just do the math of the second part. 0 0.9 times 139.6, uh, times 139.36, sorry, times 0 0.07. So again, that's all I'm going to do. And once I have that answer or that value, which is 8.78, just rewrite the equation again. VO2 equals 27.82 plus 8.78 plus 3.5. So now all you have to do is add these three values together and you have your answer, 40.1 mLs per kg per minute. Always, 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 always include your units in your final answer. I guarantee if your professors are any, anything like me, they will mark you wrong for that or they will mark you off. Units are important. We want to know 40.1 what? Well, mLs of oxygen per kilogram of body weight per minute. So that's all you have to do for a running equation. It, it's very, very similar to the walking equation. It's the same steps. It's almost the same equation. Just remember, the, the walking equation is a 0.1 here and a 1.8. Running is 0.2 and 0.9. Now again, if you are studying or you are overwhelmed by it, just remember, on your certification exams, this equation, all of the ACSM metabolic equations will be given. Conversion factors will not. And in some examples that I'm going to do later on, especially with the uh, leg cycle equation, the, uh, the questions may not give you, you know, they, they may require a few more steps of conversions. The walking and running equations, not so much, but the leg equation, yes. Now, they could also give you someone's VO2 and ask you to solve for speed or ask you to solve for a grade. Don't worry, I'm going to cover those in upcoming videos. Um, those get a little trickier. If they give you your speed and your incline and they just want you to do VO2, it's very, very easy. Just follow these steps and you'll get the answer no problem. Okay, bye guys.